All right, as per control. Um, what the deef? Thank you for the two month reset. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Uh, this is uh, this is weird Esper control. It's got some choice card selections here between settle the wreckage to give them extra land so you can fall them, I guess. And then cry in the main is like pretty stock. Kaya is fairly stock. Um, I think I'm actually pr I'm probably just gonna actually play this one in rank just because this is this is close enough to normal Esper that it's probably fine. It's got it's got like. One Fall of the Thran and two Remorseful Clerics is like random cards that have been shoved in. But like the core of this deck is still just like Esper Control. And like this card like has text in enough matchup. Like this card's honestly just fine against Mono Blue as a 2 on flyer for two. And this card might randomly win us some games against Sultai. So let's uh, let's dive in and play some matches here, shall we? What are we, what are we ranked to start? We're starting at rank 177. So let's let's play some weird Esper in in ranked. Uh, you play Cleric Burgle because Fall of the Thran gives them their lands back. So you you sack the spirit to exile their graveyard. Uh, to change land art, you have to know the set code for the lands that you want to use and then import them. It's real awkward. Hopefully they let you pick lands in the deck editor here sometime soon. Would be, would be ideal. No, I said this deck is kind of stock Esper with some weird card choices. So, no Kaya's Wrath and Settle the Wreckage is one of those many weird card choices. So, the idea with Settle the Wreckage, I assume, is give them extra land so you can fall them. But I wouldn't be surprised if we play a match or two and then change to Kaya's Wrath. Settle. Settle's like trying to be cute. Right. Absor Absorb's actually a pretty good draw here, especially on the play. Thought Erasure into Absorb, we might be okay here. I just take Frenzy here. I think I just take Frenzy. Cleric. I think I actually just want this as a two drop. This version is more so. That's actually not true, Palad. Unless you have a data point that I don't. Two Kayas and Esper Control is more more win conditions than a lot play. Thoughts on Esper Hero slash midrange. I don't really have an educated or informed opinion on that archetype. I haven't played with it enough recently enough to give you feedback on it. Uh, I went 5-3 in the mid range tournament. Yeah, Kaya, Kaya is a fine win condition. 10 out of 10 agree. Hopefully, hopefully we draw some pills. It's possible I should have just kept the cleric as like a, a thing to block with here. Or to trade for a fanatical firebrand. Try Hard Tuesday went terrible and it will not be happening again. So. We... We hit top 1,000 playing decks sparingly on the ladder that our people have submitted. We'll do, we'll do that. Otherwise, otherwise, we'll just do what we do here. Hey, look, a distraction. Maybe I should wait a turn to play this just because I could hold up Mortify then. I could, like, Chemister's Insight this turn. Uh, 
This is gonna be a great example of why Settle the Wreckage is much worse than Kaya's Wrath. This was if this was Kaya's Wrath, we'd be in a good spot, but we're about to give the red deck three extra lands here for no reason. Four extra lands. I guess I guess we technically get one more firebrand here with Settle the Wreckage. Seriously, we're gonna play around settle. I hate this card so much. It's so bad. This card is just like unplayably bad. We're gonna cut it after this match. I can't do it. I can't do it, chat. I just I just can't do it. It's not it's not even just spooky. It's just like their firebrands are worth points and they can afford to play around it, so they should play around it. Most most people aren't ghosting. The card's just not good. I think if they were ghosting, they probably wouldn't have attacked here with those. Like, you just imagining it, if that had been Kaya's Wrath, they wouldn't have even been able to cast this card. Just like, uh, do I do this and hope to draw a land? Do I do this and hope? No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to be conservative. We would have we would have gotten there, but I think it's right to not be greedy. I think it's right to not be greedy there. I'm not gonna play this thought erasure. I'm planning to discard it to this chemist's insight if they don't give us something to contempt here. Alright, so we've entered garbage time now. Garbage time, garbage time. Do 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 and like why why is situ situations like this or it's like well I don't I don't even want to cast this card right so like this card's terrible against red maybe maybe it's fine in the mirror when you're ahead or against Sultai Against Gates? Okay, I can see that. I think the Gates is a good matchup for Esper, though. I actually don't think Fall is strictly unplayable. I think it's it's it's, it's unplayable against aggro decks, for sure. But I think... Um, do I absorb this, or do I play around another Experimental Frenzy? I think I want to play around a Frenzy. Um... It's definitely unplayable against aggro decks, but against mid-range, it's kind of okay. Like, I think this is a curve topper and, like, some mid-range aggro deck could make make you okay against Sultai. I mean, what if they kill my thing in response? I'm just not doing it. This is getting discarded to Chemist's Insight. I'm just, I'm just not doing it. We're gonna we're gonna win the game by attacking with this as a two one. Hey, just up B. Thanks for the biddies. Now I can do it with Absorb Up and then play another land after? All right, fine. Fine. All 
I actually didn't have absorb up. Whatever. Whatever. I'm excited to lose this game after they make their next two land drops. I I am thoroughly excited to lose this game. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm so glad this has happened. I am I am so glad that this has occurred. Play a third land. Do it. Do it. Please don't kill me. Just could never lose this game if we don't fall. <sighs> if I'd have kept this, I could have absorbed plus done this. So I think I wasn't supposed to bin that land. Do I have to absorb? Like, how do I how do I beat anything else after that? I think I'm gonna activate this. I'm gonna be greedy. I exiled their whole graveyard, so Kaya. I exiled their whole graveyard, so like Kaya can't gain us any life either. This is so terrible. It is unreal how bad this is. <laughs> oh, it's real bad. Oh look. And now I settle the wreckage them and give them another land after we destroyed all their lands. This is, this is so good. I guess Kaya could have event, but like I have just died to the thing, right? Have, have a land back. Oh baby, oh baby. I think this deck is trolling itself. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. This is, honestly, this match is a testament. This game, sorry, is a testament to how good Esper is in this format. Because, like, we've put a bunch of terrible cards in our Esper deck, and we're still just about to dumpster this opponent, right? Like, we put a bunch of cards in our deck that made it much harder for us to win, and it's still just like, nah, dog, this is perfectly fine. No big deal. Just like we asked ourselves the question, what if we work our hardest to lose and then just have it not matter? I won't hide from the world any longer. Yeah, Esper Control is really good in this format. It's like super, super fantastic. It's like jammed, jammed like a mediocre cards in our deck, played them at in inopportune times, dumpstered them anyways. Esper Control is a very good deck. It's just kind of tedious. This is a hostage taker matchup. I feel like it's not, right? They have a bunch of lightning strikes and wizards lightnings. I'm gonna click submit like this. What's the cost of the juicy down rebuild to the Q today? $50. It's much cheaper to get it played tomorrow. Eh, not that much cheaper. Just remember, subs can add decks for 10 bucks, but if you want to see it played sooner rather than later, it does cost more. Because other people have been waiting. The sand's great. Sign me up. 
Kai is a very situational card, and the format's at a point where the situations that she's reasonable are prevalent. They pulled up. That's interesting. They think they can outslog the Esper deck? That doesn't seem right. Keep this. Because, like, Lyra is one of our best draws, right? So, like, if I hit. All right, I kind of wasn't expecting them to be that aggressive with it, but I guess that makes sense. All right, so now I think I thought Erasure now rather than Cast Down. Yes, yes, we do. That experimental frenzy being in their hand makes sense with them being aggressive with this. Or with the with the collision colossus. Woof. Opponents got got our next fall in check. They're having none of that. They had a phoenix here. What are they? What are they burning their treasures for? Tuck this in. I think that gets too scary otherwise. This means they're going to bolt here, but I think I'm okay with that. If they bolt here, I get to flip search next turn. Cinder Mines is a great card. I think this card's very reasonable. We might be dead. I don't know. It depends on how close Mortify is to the top of our deck. We're gonna destroy my SKT here too. Okay, okay. I mean, at the top of our deck is hot. We are we are in it to win it. In it to win it, chat. In it to win it. Oh baby. Oh yeah. Never didn't have it. God, how how good would Mortify have been there? Mortify was just the draw for the turn. Marty Punker doling out the sub gifties. You crazy, Marty. Good morning. It's been, it's been a hot second. Domri, got it. Teamer, teamer, Domri, it is. Watch me, like, not win a match with it. After 10 0 yesterday. Well, they know they know Lyra's coming in, right? Like they boarded in Collision Colossus. Secretly, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Are they cinder vinesing their own frenzy? What? What? 
they must they must have they must have cards in their hand that let them kill this Lyra, huh? This Lyra, I assume our Lyra is dead here. I assume there's gonna be strike plus something else here. Which we might do Esper control things here and just like flood out and die. That's just how Esper control works in a majority of its games. Scale of one to dead, where's this Lyra at? I assume, I assume solidly on the dead side of the scale. Is this game two and we're up a game? And I, I unfortunately don't have any copy of Kaya's Wrath. I'm like, wait, what? Oh, they're just making more mana. I got it. I was like, uh... Mm -hmm. Don't you want to want to gamble? Don't you want to want to gamble? Don't you want to want to gamble? Don't you want to bum 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 All right, God bless cheeky Lyra top decks. They did. They did try. They played to their outs. Opponent opponent tanked there for a reason, right? Like they had a lot of things to count. Yeah, like they played to their outs of like hitting the card off the top of their deck, right? That was that was their out. I'm replacing these set all the wreckages with Kaya's Wrath. Sorry, not sorry. The rest of this seems fine for now. Like this is obviously cheeky, but again, when someone submits me a deck, I try to play with the idea that they've submitted without cutting it right away. So we'll continue playing Esper Control, likely with three bad cards in it. Honestly, the Remorseful Cleric's not terrible. Remorseful Cleric has text in a number of spots, and Remorseful Cleric actually randomly lets Kaya be lethal in long games, right? Like it exiles their whole graveyard, then you then you down tick Kaya and kill them. So I actually think the cleric's not a terrible inclusion. So like we can live with one fall of the thran probably. In Our opponent is Mythic rank 339. I wonder how many people are in Mythic already. Because I, I came in at 140 yesterday, I think. Or 115 now after a win to start the day. Cry me a river, baby. Nah, I don't think so, Volpert. I think Kai is too slow and clunky for modern. Modern. Modern's a format that's about brutal efficiency. Kai is not brutal nor efficient. Argus, thank you for the very generous tier 2 sub. Hope you're having a good one wherever you're at. Be sure to take a peek at my deck queue and let me know which deck you'd like to bump up in there. Tier 2 subs get to do that every month. as a special thank you for supporting me a little bit extra. Tuck this in. They have like a shock or a carnival carnage. I feel a little bit bad, but letting the Tefri get pressured does not seem ideal. Quickly heading towards garbage time here. If we can find if we can find an answer to the Phoenix, we'll be solidly into garbage time. And like I'm getting to, uh, hey, can we just appreciate that Kaya's wrath not being flip and settle the wreckage for a second here? Imagine, imagine if that Kaya's wrath was settle the wreckage. How screwed would we be right now? Pretty screwed. Opponent accepts that we have solidly entered garbage time. <laughs> I 
Well, thanks for the support, Argus. I appreciate you being here. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. Huh. I think we actually probably don't sideboard much here, right? So, like, bring in Disdainful Stroke. Do I want, uh... Do I want Hostage Shaker? What about Hostage Shaker instead of Kaya's Wrath? Just do that. I like that. I think I like that. There's actually a Fall of the Thran build around request in the queue that I think looks pretty good. It's a Bant aggro deck that uses Fall as a piece of as a piece of curve topper, basically, that I think is reasonable. Oh, the extra contempt for Phoenix. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I don't want Reborn here because they're playing Siege Gang Commander. Can you bump Quasi Ooze? Definitely Argus. Will do. It'll get bumped up as soon as I'm done streaming today. It's a little unfortunate that they had to rest there. If they have if they have removal spells for these hostage shakers, this Thief of Sanity spells trouble. And like they're hitting us, so they're more likely to have removal spells for hostage shaker. The good, the good news here is because they tapped out for Rekindling Phoenix, it means if they answer my Hostage Shaker next turn, they don't get to attack with Thieves. So that gives me another chance to draw an answer. So we're definitely in a bad spot, but we're not in an unwinnable spot by any means. Joke's on you. I don't have anything to duress. Like it doesn't, it doesn't look like my opponent's deck is super aggressive. So, I think there's a chance that, like, if I can stabilize this board, we cannot. We can stabilize at a low health total and claw back in. Yep. I wonder if it's right to contempt the thief there, as opposed to jamming the hostage shaker. I can see that being the correct play. Now we just need a Tefri or another Contempt. Joke's on you. I ain't got any thoughts to erase, opponent. Suck on this card advantage. Definitely should have boarded in my fourth Contempt. That was a mistake not to. Hey, this card plays against uh, Phoenix, too. Look at that. Good clean live in. If Jeffrey would have hit Contempt there, we'd actually be in a good spot. And Kaya's Wrath wasn't good enough there because my opponent would have simply, uh, what's it called? They would have gotten the Phoenix back. Flood out and die, a classic Esper strategy.
So this is a really little thing, but I actually played the wrong land on turn one. And the reason I played the wrong land on turn one is because if I would have drawn an island or a swamp on turn two, I wouldn't have been able to play Remorseful Cleric because I would have had a Drowned Catacomb on tap. So I should have played a White Land tapped on one there. What on God's Green Earth is in their hand that they care about that they care about my cries so much? They have Unmoored Ego. Okay. Oh, they have Siege Gang Commander. All right, we're going to take Unmoored Ego away from them. And then I think I want to leave that there. I'll just start casting Draw Twos, which is nice. I should have cleric myself there. That's a good catch. I agree with that assessment. I agree with the assessment that I should have played. Or should have sacrificed a Morseful Cleric to save my Tefri. I got they shocked and then like decided against it. They're like, nah, actually not gonna play into the stroke. Which I agree they shouldn't play into the stroke there. See if I can get two free points in here. Rats, they saw the line. No, Tom, I did not. It's free. It's liter. It's literally a free attack. Like, it's the, the freest of attacks. Maybe they overthink and take two points of damage that they don't have to take. Wow, hitting the hitting the seventh land there, plus the Thought Erasure is really brutal for us, because it lets them do exactly this. I need to draw a cry here. I think... I only have two cries in my deck. So if I, if I can tempt the Siege Gang, I'm at 16. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to contempt the Siege Gang and then play Search here. And then just like dig for, dig for Cry next turn. Because the, the Stroke can't counter Cry. All right, we got six looks at a Cry. Got it. There's only... Two in my deck because they thought Erasure two earlier. I have four cries in my deck. There are four cries in my deck. Stop it. There are four of them. I'm dead, right? Yeah. Uh, Asper. Asper control doing Asper control things. I could have Remorseful Cleric to keep a Tefri in my hand, but the way the game ended up sequencing out, like they ended up having Disdainful Stroke at the end for it anyway, so I'm not sure that, that was really meaningful. 
How are we doing, folks? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good night to everybody over out in the world. Thanks for dropping by here today. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream full-time here on Twitch. I'm here playing Magic 30, 40, 50 hours a week. If you enjoy standard, best of free constructed, this is definitely a channel for you. We play a ton of different decks here. This deck, like many of the decks that we play, is a viewer-submitted deck list. Um, as always, I'd like to give a shout-out to my many wonderful subscribers out there. I wouldn't be here day in and day out without their wonderful support. They are quite literally the folks that keep me employed. I'd also like to give a shout-out to some of my wonderful sponsors here. Quip provides quality, affordable electric toothbrushes. If you check them out using my link, bit.ly forward slash sugar quip, you get your first refill kit with a brush head. Extra toothpaste and battery for free. Also, if you sign in using your Twitch account when you use my link, you can bump a deck in my deck queue for free by 25 points for as a thank you for checking out the sponsor. BCW Supplies are the only ones I trust to protect my paper. Magic the Gathering cards, they do sleeves, deck boxes, binders, and all sorts of other fantastic gaming accessories with them. And using code JEFF10, you can save 10% on your purchases at bcwsupplies.com. Cardsphere.com will love to help you turn your cards into other cards tricked with other players. There's no haggling, and they just take a 1% fee off of the top. The General Pancakes. Thank you for the biddies. I appreciate that. Take a peek at the deck queue, General, if you'd like, and let me know a deck you'd like to bump up with those. I always encourage people to uh, let me know what they'd like to see sooner whenever they cheer 100 bits or more or donate a dollar or more. Uh, InkedGaming.com will love to help you customize your gaming experience using code JEFF12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. You can upload your own custom artwork or choose from the wide range of custom artworks that they have on their website. I'm going to go ahead and head on in to the next match here with Esper, Esper Control, with a couple of quirky ones in it. I am helping. I'll strike you are. Thanks for cashing in your Bezo bucks this way for the second month in a row. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, and thanks for keeping me employed. For $50, you'll play my Horse Tribal deck. You can submit decks you'd like to potentially pay to see played using this form on my website here, and I will drop you an email letting you know if I'm willing to play your deck. This deck's got Cry to suppress an aggro deck, or this hand's got Cry to suppress an aggro deck. We got Chemist's Insight to grind a little bit against Control and Midrange. Got plenty of land drops, so probably an okay keep. Probably an okay keep. Ectoban, thanks for sending your prime support this way this month. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. That, that if we could stack my deck there, absorb would probably be the card I'd put on top. I would love to absorb your Jade Light Ranger. Just like this keeps the wild growth walker from developing pressure it possibly stunts their mana development it's also important that i use my mana this turn because this following turn i'd really like to use my mana to chemistry's insight also by keeping the board lighter i make it better if i draw tefri off the top in the in the next couple of turns When it rains, it pours, chat. When it rains, it pours. Thankfully, we're going to get to jumpstart this Chemistry's Insight and uh, turn one of these lands into two new cards. It's possible I could cry just to, like, take their Incubation Druid out here, but, like, they could just have a fifth land, and then at that case, like, the Vivian still comes down. I think this keep was fine. The, the quality of the cards that you draw after keeping... Excuse me, doesn't impact whether or not the keep was fine. Uh, we won one game of magic with the tithes deck. So you could you could probably say it performed at expectations. It was, it was terrible as we expected it to be. I mean, what is why do, why do I want to double cry here? What is what does double crying accomplish? Like, do I care about a one three wild growth walker and an incubation druid? I think I'd much rather just like play this remorseful cleric to pressure their Vivian read a little bit, and then like cast a couple of chemistry's insights here. Try and find cards that like actually do stuff. What exactly does the fall package add to this deck? Probably nothing. It's probably just bad. I 
It adds it adds targets for their cast downs, is what it does. They're manually tapping there because they didn't want their incubation druid to accidentally tap itself when they adopted it. Which is fine. I completely understand that. Alright, so we need a... We really need a copy of... Uh, what's it called? We need a copy of Raska's Content. I'm actually going to play the Search for Ed's Canta out here, hoping they'll downtick the Vivian on it. Nope, the not taking the bait. We get a couple looks at Contempt next turn. This is, this is going to eat here. Uh, Tefri could also do it. The real question here is, do I Chemister's Insight in response? I think I do. I think I Chemister's Insight in response to the search so I can flip the search. Does that make sense? Tefri and Vraska are fine. Yeah, 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 I can fancy penguin because it searches a land. Is a new never never didn't have it definitely weren't flailing around trying to find that nah after playing after playing decks that I thought were good yesterday and mostly getting beat up I think unless we get to a point where the standard queue is constantly empty, which I'd be kind of surprised if we get to that point. It's been pretty constantly 30 to 50 decks. I think I think I'm just gonna work out of the deck queue. Occasionally I throw things I want to play into the deck queue anyways, but I think I think we have a pretty good mix of like real decks and, and garbage decks on on average. Alright, so if I activate this, I could draw Tefri, play Tefri, still have absorb up. Mortify sounds good. And again, just like, there's a fall there, but I'm not taking fall because it's just bad. It's just not good. They've got Incubation Druid. I've got Search for Azkanta. Killing all of the lands is just bad here. Yeah, Fall kills your Azkanta. Yeah, I got to Mythic off stream. I went I went on a 10. Uh, so, a Ghost Stalker. Thanks for the 11 months. I appreciate that. I had someone... So after after we had the bad day yesterday, I was like, I just need to win some matches. So I like I loaded up this deck that we've been talking about on the subs Discord. And I was like, this looks sweet. I'm just gonna play some matches with it. And I was like, I'm just gonna play matches until until I lose. You're like, you know, that's a reasonable thing. You lose eventually, right? And then I was like, I was 5-0, and I was like, all right, I need to stop playing and like do my post stream stuff, and then I'll play, and then I'll play more matches with it until I lose. And then I won 10 matches in a row. And I was mythic. I was like, all right, I guess I'll stop now. <laughs> I guess I guess we'll be done. Now we've hit pretty much all the major bases in the standard format. The teamer teamer domery deck that we're gonna play next is the one I'm talking about. Yeah, the teamer teamer domery deck. Stop it. Garbage time. Garbage time. I just play whatever the people pay me to play, Sir Krovax, which today is the stack for this at this very moment of the stack. 
What deck would I play if I were playing in a standard tournament tomorrow? If I was playing in a standard tournament tomorrow that I cared about, being a responsible adult who prepares for things, I would have spent time preparing for that tournament. So, I don't have an answer for you off the cuff. I'd always love that when I when I was like grinding when I was grinding tournament magic there were other people that like showed up to tournaments every weekend and they're like oh man these, this tournament means so much to me the points and the results are so important but I just didn't get to practice it all week it's like why would you like spend your entire weekend playing in a tournament if you like didn't have time to practice to like know you could like give yourself the best chance to just like skip a tournament or two if you don't have time to actually prefer, pre prepare yeah, Team or Climb is fine. I'd probably test and Team or Climb would be one of the decks I'd be testing. But the actual answer is I don't, I don't know. So I'm not, I haven't been, I don't have a tournament that I care about coming up. So I haven't been preparing. Sure, life, life gets in the way, but then take a weekend off, right? Like you make, you make time for things that are important. So like if your results are actually important and the tournament's really important, like instead of going to tournaments two weekends in a row, take one of those weekends off to prepare for the following weekend. At least that's how I always approached it. This probably isn't good enough on the draw, right? Like, Hostage Shaker's a card I don't want to see to like, the mid to late game until I have a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, this is, this is reasonable. I've got some cast downs to not die to random explore poopers, and then just need to draw some lands. This is a really small thing, but you'll notice I shocked on turn two, even though I didn't have to shock there. So the reason for my land sequencing this way is this way when I play a land out like this, it's less obvious that I might have a three mana card to hold up. Because when I shock in my third land on turn three, it screams from the rooftops. He has something that he wants to hold up here for three mana, right? Whereas this way, it's a little bit more innocuous because I'm not shocking in for this land. Is tokens a bad matchup? No, tokens is a bad matchup. Just don't don't play cards for cannonade. Don't put cannonade in your deck. It's just not good. It's, it's, it's fine. It's okay, it's okay for your deck to have bad matchups. If your deck doesn't have bad matchups, it becomes the only deck in the format, and then you just play mere matches. Noob ally, thanks for the prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this here. Divine Tez will do general pancakes. Thank you. Sorry. I think I missed you. I caught I caught that you said that earlier. So 700 for Divine Tez. I appreciate the support. Why not mortify before they gain the life? Uh because I'd like to see what they're exploring into before I mortify. And like the health actually just doesn't matter. Hey man, thanks for the tier one sub. Hope you're having a good Wednesday wherever you're at. Thanks for the support. Yikes. Dead and dying, chat. Dead and dying. How long till Team or Domery? Probably about another 45 minutes or so. The biggest takeaway you should take from Try Hard Tuesday yesterday, if you didn't watch it, is that you should play the decks you like playing, because even the decks that are good, the decks that I think are powerful, that I really like, they're not that much better than everything else. So you should just look at the decks that, that seem sweet to you and play the ones that feel good. Play the ones that generate play patterns that you enjoy. Wild animals in life. Draw and fire. 
Does best of three rank you up faster than best of one? Well, you get, you win and lose two points in best of three for wins and losses. So it's a similar rate. I don't know. I play, I play best of three because I enjoy playing best of three and I really don't enjoy playing best of one. <laughs> Thanks, words. Yeah, that's and sweet. I don't know, East of Us. We're going to play it some more today and find out. Even though I hate the term tier, did you ever really play a tier deck while on the STG tour? Uh, once. I think, there was, I think there was one tournament where I showed up with a deck that could have been considered one of the best decks in the format. Like, exactly one tournament. Well, 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 well. Oh, basic island. Oh, basic island. Why you, why you gotta do me dirty? Like, I think I keep it because it lets me cast Chemister's Insight, but I'm not, I'm not excited about it. We're not, we're not excited about keeping the basic island. We're gonna absorb the crap out of this Jade Light. I have not met Raynette in person. Wonder if this is gonna be a crisis for two. I really like crisis. Oh, they can't crisis for two. They don't have blue mana. Nah, I think the way our hand's set up here, I just keep the island and just like get guaranteed get to chemistry's insight. Renan. Renan lives on the west coast, I believe. I am solidly in the center of the cornfields. You don't think there's a reason to wrath the person who missed land drops that has two mana dorks in play? You and I must play different games of magic. Definitely. Definitely want a two for one Micaiah's wrath for their mana dorks. In. In for that. Super in. Bye, friends. I feel like this is an okay exchange for me. What's going on, Talarian? Oh no, there's no island in my deck. There's only one basic. That's brutal. Thanks for the 27 months, Professor. We watched the intro to your video on stream today. It was a hoot. Oh, I forgot I played Green Black Delirium. Yeah, Blue White Blue White Flash was the one I remembered. I don't I don't know if you could consider Green Black Delirium a tier one deck just because it was much worse than Bant Company. So I think we just let this resolve and then we Vraska's Contempt it just to keep the board kind of clean. We'll save the Absorb for their eventual Planeswalker post crisis. It's a good hit. Let's just take another crisis out of their hand here. Or that. Let's just take that out of their hand. Um, she's not doing a whole lot. Let's just spin that. 
Delirium was okay with them or cool. The Bant Company deck at the time was, was very busted, though. I really want to use my mana on Chemister's Insight here, but the Absorb in my hand is just too important to discard, so I just can't do that. Yeah, Marvel. Marvel is the reason Emrakul eventually got banned, I think, more than anything. Let's not forget the hair. <laughs> well, the, the hair... The hair is kind of like a testament to the character that I play, right, Professor? The angry... What's that? The angry old man I play on TV. Well, that's incredibly rude. Hopefully we draw land here. You know, I'm going to be greedy and play this for five. I'm going to draw two cards. I'm going to draw two cards and we can threaten to trade in combat. We get a little bit punished if they, like, play a Planeswalker here. But, like, I drew Tefri like a professional, so it's probably fine. I guess we get kind of punished if they have find. Like, if they attack, trade, and then, like, find this back. Stone. Stone cold nothing. Garbage time. Garbage time. This is this is the part of the game where the game has ended, but we're still sitting here playing magic for whatever reason. Nice, Jason. I've only got eight cards in my hand. What are the odds one of them kills your carnage tyrant? Pretty good. Pretty good. Tefri ticking up towards ultimate. Got canisters inside. If they play another crisis, we've got hostage taker. It's good. I'm covering on all the angles, really. Lord understands. Right, I'm not going to do another full shield really quick here, but I do need to put this up because the audio bug is occurring. So let's restart real quick. These people are great. Buy their stuff. These people all so great. Buy their stuff. Back to your regularly scheduled Magic Arena. Right, let's play one more. Let's play one more with us for control here. <laughs> Look at that. Talarian, the professor, giving someone the full Hoglandian. Got him. Got him. How does it feel to violate the rights of an innocent member of Twitch chat, Talarian? Does it make you feel powerful? That's why I like to time people out. It makes me feel powerful. <laughs> uh, snow. So this hand's a good example of just lands and spells, but this hand also needs to draw lands and draw spells. So like we need black sources, but we also need cards like probably impact the board. So I think this is a pretty easy mulligan. Every time you mulligan a close seven, you get rewarded with an unkeepable six. I would love a search for Ascanta. Main deck thought erasure. I've seen I've seen a few main deck thought erasures in Sultai recently. It's an interesting trend. It probably gives them more game against the the reclamation decks. If I had to venture a guess, right? Timeouts are always free here in Hoglandia. 
than one of the greatest services we offer. We're, we're givers here. Whenever I see a mod with a horse types one out, I imagine they ride by and chop off their head. Just popped into other magic streams for the first time, and man, your stuff is high quality. Thanks for being the best. Well, thanks for thanks for keeping me around. Let it rip. I'm glad, glad you're enjoying it. You know what? I honestly don't want to burn this Vraska's Contempt on a Hostage Taker, so I'm just going to go ahead and sacrifice this, which makes them Hostage Take their own elf here, because Hostage Taker is not optional. So, get got. I'm going to bin that. I want a Black Source. Ding, ding, ding. Never didn't have it. This message dies to Doomblade. That's a topical one with Talarian in chat. This dies to, dies to Doomblade podcast. <laughs> snap, bolt, snap with the 12 month resub. I knight thee, defender of the realm. Go forth and protect us from Twitch chat. Day 9's emotes are so great. Dies to removal. Sorry, sorry. Dies, dies to removal. All right, they know about this one. So, like, they're playing this thief out just to get through it. And I'm happy to use my mana here. This, this was exactly what we wanted to draw. So I'm casting this now so I can draw a land and play it. That puts us to six cards in the bin, which means if I bin something next turn, I get to flip search for it. Can't start generating card advantage that way. Hopefully this is a Hydroid Crisis and not a Planeswalker to kill my search for Azkanta. Perfect. So next turn, I can flip this, activate this, and, uh, and take a card out of their hand. So we're like in a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, magic's easy when you're lucky. Magic's, magic's easy when you're lucky, chat. These things we're running hot, hot, hot. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we mold, we mold the five this game. Esper is very good. It's tedious, but it's very good. Huh. I think I want Kaya here. Kaya, Kaya's like a preemptive counterspell for fight finality, which is sweet. Didn't see a door, so I let myself in. Didn't see a door, so I let myself in. That's great. I switched to Esper from Unplayable Mardu Aggro and jumped two ranks last night. Nice. I don't think I love Kaya enough to save her here. I think these absorbs are reserved for their threats currently. I don't think I don't think we're far enough ahead to protect a win condition yet. We've got a 2-3. Enjoy. Alright, well we've got my no buttons lined up. The Discovery Channel. Thank you for the three months in a row. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Tefri. Tefri means we're heading firmly in the direction of garbage time. Hopefully he draws us a land here. So that way we can untap the search for Azkanta. God bless you, Tefri. King. King of garbage time. Tef Tefri, ladies and gentlemen. Tefri. Taking out the trash. We kind of want to draw some lands here, right? So if they if they don't give us something to absorb, I'm going to insight ditching the scry. This for Esper Dragons. I actually didn't play much Esper Dragons during Con Standard. I probably need to absorb this. I think I need to absorb this. Hold that thought. All right, one thought erasure, please. Speaking of holding thoughts, Kai is wrath. Kai is wrath. Do 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 do.
It's 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 all of the above, Rev. It's just like basically only good in the mirror. The biggest problem with with Chromium is that he's a it's a card that doesn't play defense well. So if you look at cards like Tefri and Kaya, they're eventual win conditions that are also answers in card advantage engines. Whereas um, something like uh, what's it called that you just named Chromium only does one thing. That's a Hydroid Crisis. I think we're just gonna slog through this, right? How, how do we feel about... Do I need... I need... I probably want to keep my Tefri alive, right? Probably want to keep my Tefri alive. So we'll uh, activate Azkanta plus absorb this thing. Like they're drawing they're drawing a bunch of cards here, but like just like so many of their cards just don't have meaningful text on them. I'd actually really like to find my other Kaya to make their fine finalities worse. Thought erasure also good. Kind of thought you got kicking around in that pretty little head of yours. Speaking of fine finality, I would love another absorb on top of my deck, so. I suppose if I took their Krasis, I could absorb the find. Maybe that's better. Yeah, it's probably a little better. I don't think it really matters at this point. You know, I know there's a card on top of my deck that I want, so I'm gonna just do this, I think. Maybe you should have seen that coming. This is this is fine. Yeah, now now I can cry these away. We had a thought erasure here, we're in a good spot. We're in a great spot. We're in a good spot regardless. We have Thought Erasure. We just, like, dump them into the ground. Remember that time they resolved a bunch of giant crisis? It just didn't matter. Preferred Farmer members. Please. All right, so we know the entire contents of our deck at this point, so we can know what we're going to ask Kanta into every turn, which is nice. I think at this point, I'm actually declining to take cards with this because I'm going to take Thought Erasure, but I think we're going to get to a point where we just want to leave things in our deck. Just so we don't deck out. Yeah, Kaya, Kaya kills them very quickly. Yeah, Tefri means we're not going to deck out as well. So we're getting back to Kaya. 
We're getting Tefri next turn, it looks like. This is this is how Esper wins when the opponents don't concede. This is a couple of people were asking earlier how does this deck actually win the game? This is this is how it wins the game when your opponent doesn't concede. Can you feel the sodium pouring out of my opponent's pores? That's how Esper wins. Can you feel it? Can you feel it in your bones, chat? No more games. No, I wanted to hold up Absorb in case they had a Planeswalker. The 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 18 cards in exile. You know what? I'm not done yet. Maybe the opponent's having fun. I hope so. I hope they're having fun. Hey, look, they correctly identified which planeswalker is going to kill them. They correctly identified which planeswalker is going to kill them. We need to move quickly. Bags and hit the road. Yeah, there's only 20 in exile and they're at uh they're at 24, so we're gonna need to Tef re emblem them for a little bit. There's another Tefri in my deck, right? Oh, crap. Yeah, there's another Tefri in my deck. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's another Tefri in here. I'm actually gonna transform this just so it stops asking me. So I'm not bidding anything at this point. Let's skip to the good part. Want something banished? Honey, that's what I do. Maybe they don't realize Tefri can tuck himself. They might they might not realize Steph freaking tuck himself. Your reality will crumble. There's two cards in my deck, right? One, two, so I'm gonna chemister's insight. Ditch this mortify.
22 cards in exile. Pack your bags and hit the road. Pack your bags and hit the road. What an excellent voice line. What a, have you ever heard a more apt voice line? Pack your bags and hit the road. Get out of here. Yeah, resolves. Resolves. This puts this puts card 23 into exile. My draw step puts card 24 into exile. Let's go! <laughs> I've seen worse. Are you satisfied? Are you are you satisfied? Can I Kaya can I Kaya ult you for all of it now? For all of the for all of the bananas. 2024. 20, yeah. You. Dead you. Dead you. How many bits to go for the perfect game? <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't see that message before I killed them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a close game, you know. There's a lot of, a lot of. They had me on the ropes there for a second. That was that was game one. Yep. So that's how Esper control games go when you're playing against sodium elementals. Kaya, Kaya is very reasonable. Very incredibly reasonable. We could get run over by a fast explore start here. I think I think I keep this against uh, Thought Erasure. Should be Thought Erasure build. Be, this is gonna be the last match with Esper. Win, win or lose, we're done after this one. Guess what I drew? Yeah, in in paper with Esper control, you just win a lot of matches. One oh one. Do I counter this? I think I'm supposed to counter this just because I need to use my mana this turn. I think, I think I'm supposed to just like, like I can't get that far behind on board. So like, think about how these turns play out, right? Like I let that resolve. I let that resolve. And then I play Chemistry's Insight this turn and they attack me for five, like down to 10. Like that feels real bad, right? This thing goes. A balance comes. So like this gives them a draw off of Vivian, but I think I think it's important to just be using my mana on these turns. Again, just going back to using my mana every turn is is very important in this matchup, I think. So I might use my health total as a bit more of a resource if I didn't have a second wrath here, but because I have second wrath, I'm gonna be pretty aggressive with this first one. They draw Krasis, really? That's unfortunate. Cream cheese guy, thanks for the prime support. Hope you're having a good one. Thanks for keeping me employed here. So I'd really like to draw a thought erasure to poke their best spell out here. Um huh.
Next turn, we'll Wrath plus hold up Cleric. If they drew a Planeswalker here, we're going to be in trouble. If they didn't draw a Planeswalker, we're probably okay. Second Crisis, like, actually isn't that bad. So, like, they're through three Crisis at this point. Which means that Remorseful Cleric is going to... Actually, do I just stick Kaya since I drew the land? I totally just stick Kaya since we drew the land, right? It might, it might be right to play the Cleric just so they can't find a Krasis back this turn. But getting, getting Kaya going is also kind of appealing. Alright, Cleric's probably turning into a draw two next turn. JK. Some good hits. They have Negate. Makes sense. And like, we're slightly ahead at the moment. But honestly, the fact that they're through two Planeswalkers and three Krasis already just makes this re pretty reasonable for us. Man, this thing blocks Thief of Sanity post board too. Sign me up. Nah, there's no way they board out find. I think boarding an Unmortigo in the Sultimir is actually fine. I think that's I think that's actually a fine play for reference. I know I know I have been down an Unmortigo, but like Unmortigo is a reasonable card when you're planning to see most of your deck in a game. If you're seeing most of your deck in a given... If your opponent's going to see most of their deck in a given game of Magic, then that means taking their stuff away ends up being pretty reasonable. They must have drawn Fine Finality here. Actually, you know what? That block was bad. I should have blocked and then sacrificed this to exile their graveyard. Yep, I punted. So that was, that was a mistake on my part. I should have... Blocked and then sacrificed to exile their graveyard to play around the fine fidelity here. I think we're still okay just because our hand is kind of insane, but I definitely should have blocked them before damage happened, exiled their graveyard. Yeah, I think I think we're likely heading into an all roads lead to Rome type situation here. But I do, I do like to point out when I make mistakes. I don't think I want to discard anything here. I think my hand's just kind of absurd. Just gonna yoink this. I think pass. I guess I could play this as a 2-2. I kind of want to hold up stroke this turn, though. Kind of want to hold up stroke this turn. What are the odds they don't have a, they have a Duress or a Negate, though? Kind of high. If I play this out as a 2-2, it threatens to block this. Yeah, I'm just going to pass, I think. Yeah, I think, I think maybe I'm supposed to play Krasis just because they likely have a discard spell. Just because, like, again, like, I'm, I'm in an okay position regardless here, but the big thing I'm missing here is I'm not, I'm losing out on mana efficiency on these turns. Because, like, again, my hand's good, so I don't really want a Chemister's Insight. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Come to me. Yeah, if they, if they kill my hostage shaker, the crisis is still gone. It is like this is a situation where like having played crisis out would be good here, right?
Yeah, we're definitely here for the long haul again. It's probably gonna be like an hour long match, if not longer. That's interesting. Huh? How do you feel about Chemister's Insight? Ditch Tefri. I kind of just want some lands here. They might have Disdainful Stroke here. That was an excellent draw. I actually care about Thief more than Vivian. And this whole this whole game kind of comes back to that turn where the turn things started snowballing for me is when they got to find back their crisis and that snowballed them into more cards. So if I would have just if I would have just played or sacrificed my spirit there instead of trading for their thief of sanity, I'd be in a much better spot in this match. Although I do I do get to just like reload, put a bunch of gas back in the tank here, which is good. This is gonna be for X's. Eight. And like Vivian can shoot this down, but I still get to draw four, so like thanks. Deal. This trades with this, so I don't really care about that. Sweet. So then I've got. Kaya's Wrath to clean the board up and then Tefri to clean Vivian up. So hopefully they play a big crisis of their own this turn. No one knows the wilds like I do. Yep. Yeah, this whole this whole game snowballed on that, the fact that I let them find their uh their crisis back. How many Kaya's Wrath are through? I think that might be all of them, right? And that is actually all my Kaya's Wrath, which is a big deal. I think we might be dead to this Carnage Shire because I'm out of Kaya's Wrath. So I used them aggressively earlier. I the thing I always the thing that reminds me of why there's so many bad magic players in the world is when we play a game like this where I explicitly talk about the mistake I made and why I'm behind and why I'm losing this game and there's still people in chat that are like hydroid crisis is too good this game has nothing to do with hydroid crisis hydroid crisis is not to blame for the fact that I made a mistake that ultimately lost me that game if you're someone who wants to get better at magic, writing off cards as being too good or there was nothing you could do is not how you do it. You need to be critical of the decisions that you make during your games and realize that one bad choice can often snowball on you and cause you to lose the match. I didn't lose that game because Crace was too good. I lost that game because I messed up. Case and Drith, thanks for the five month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Magic, magic's the type, the type of game where if you want a scapegoat, if you want it to not be your fault, if you look hard enough, you can always find a reason that you lost a game other than I messed up. It's very easy to just pass the buck and not take any personal accountability for it. And, like, mistakes happen, right? Like, I, I play Magic all the time. It's literally my job, but we talk about the mistakes that I make while I'm playing. So, like, don't feel bad about making mistakes. Just be able to identify and accept that they're going to happen and they're going to cost you games. 
I think streaming hurts my win rate? Nah. Nah, I am, I am objective enough to know that while the deck I played yesterday was good off stream, like, I also ran hot off stream with it. Uh, I am, I am not invited to the Mythic Tournament, G-Critical. Wizards of the Coast doesn't like the feedback that I provide about their products to invite me to something like that. I just take this hit here and hold up Absorb. If they pass the turn, I'll probably Vraska's Contempt the Hydrate Krasis here. And I'm electing to kill the Krasis rather than the Kroll Harpooner here, because the Krasis going to exile is better for me because then they can't find it back later. And it's critical that I alleviate pressure on this board. Still getting to hold up Absorb here and use our health totals a bit more of a resource. If they pass without doing anything again this turn for us to Absorb, we're going to Mortify this at end step. Got three cards in our bin. Thief of Sanity. That can, that can resolve and I'll just Mortify it here. And then if they counter this, we'll untap a Gaia's Wrath. Hey, Philly, who remembers the Skyrim cat streams and Hex? Thanks for the 34 months, bud. Uh, I think hitting land drops is pretty important here, so let's just go ahead and throw that on top of the deck. I'd like to get to seven so that way I can absorb plus play a four mana spell or Kaya's Wrath plus hold the counter. Opponents pacing, pacing themselves really well here, playing around the sweeper that they know about. This, la this last match is taking a long time. You are not wrong. Our opponent making us kill them in the first game and then me punting, punting an otherwise close one makes it tough. <sighs> I think I just let this happen. The Aristocrats decklist is updated on my website. I think I just let this happen. I think I'm going to Chemister's Insight here. And try and hit a land. Yeah, they're telegraphing a counterspell pretty hard here. So I want to wrath this turn with a with an absorb up. Perfect. So the reason why I ditched my second wrath there rather than the reason I ditched my second wrath rather than the contempt. Was so this way, if they negated or stroked my Wrath and I absorbed and they untapped and played a Planeswalker, it's important that I kept Vraska's Contempt to be able to deal with the Planeswalker that they stuck that turn there. Alright, we get to flip Azkanta here, which means we're quickly heading into garbage time, which is great. Well, thanks for being here, Duff. I appreciate I appreciate the support. Uh, there is one Disdainful Stroke in my deck, so I'm going to go ahead and activate this and try and find it. God, we are so good at this game! Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Listen, play to your outs, chat. Play to your outs, okay? That's all I'm going to say. All I'm going to say is play to your outs. Uh, if they want to fight this, I'm going to let them fight this since I have another one in my hand. If I draw Tefri, I can cast him here. Do, 
Listen, if you always call your shots, eventually some of them are correct. That's all I'm gonna say. If you all if you always call your shots, you're gonna hit some of them. World's most advanced MTGA AI. <laughs> Yeah, most of our angles covered here. Oh yeah, the de the desperation. Maybe they have nothing. The maybe they have nothing desperation attack. Been there, opponent. Been there. It's a tough, it's a tough place to be. Tough, it's a tough place to be. Oh, that's another Tefri. All right. I would like one of your finest harpooners, please. So. Their best draw at this point is we are currently cold to a Carnage Tyrant. So that's that's what we got to dodge at this point. Look at that. We cleverly left our best card on top of our deck here too. Skillfully, skillfully left the best card on top of our deck. Welcome to Thunderdome. Enjoy your stay. We need to move quick. Oh! Wind conditions are great. Wind conditions are great. This will be child's play. Wind conditions are great. Wind conditions are great. Dunk dunk. Wind conditions are great by their stuff. <laughs> okay, that made my afternoon. Ain't even mad. Ain't even mad. Don't gotta. Don't. Things I don't have to draw next turn. Those lands. So, a slightly better Esper control player would have won all three match it, all three games in that match, I think. Because remember, the second game snowballed because I used my uh, Remorseful Cleric incorrectly. So, um... Believe it or not, this card was bad and shouldn't be in our deck. We, we drew it and it was bad multiple times. I was actually kind of impressed with Remorseful Cleric in in this deck. Does anybody, like, anybody have, like, I, like, Cleric was, like, actively good with Kaya. It, it's, as a 2-1 flyer, it's fine against Mono Blue. It's good against Sultai with exiling it. Like, the, Remor the Remorseful Cleric was, like, genuinely good at multiple points. You just tell Twitch chat. I said Armageddon was bad, to be fair. Not not Stone Rain. Yeah, it's like okay against Strakes, too. I don't know if this card belongs in the main deck because it does turn on removal. But, like, maybe some of these out of your sideboard is, like, very reasonable. Or, like, just making Kaya a faster win con might even make the two in the main fine. Like, we handily dumpstered people today, so... Definitely handily dumpstered people today. Keep up the great work, Willem. Thanks for the 18 months. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. It also attacks a couple of times. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it attacks. All right, Teamer Domery. Teamer, T 